This is Cassell from Creation Cassell. In this video, we'll look at how to create a multi-photo frame using a script in PaintShop Pro. First, I started by creating an image and this one is 500 by 700 pixels. This will be the size of all the photo spots created by the script. With this image active, I simply select my multi photo frame script and run it. It says here that it's going to be based on the size of the active image. I can choose how many columns of photos I want. So I'll pick five. So I'll have five photos per row and I will choose to have two rows. I could go up to 10 if I wanted to. Now the spacing by default is going to be 10% of the size of each image. I'll just keep that default. And the size of the mat around is by default 30% of the size of the photo. I'll keep it too. And it's done. Now each element is on a separate layer, whether it is frame, the mat, a photo, or even the shadows. The shadows are also included on a separate layer, so you can remove them if you want to change them or if you want to add your own. So now you have your basic multi photo frame ready to use. The white spacing between each photo is actually a mat in itself because if I was to remove the photo spots, I could have this mat with the individual holes if I wanted to put a photo behind. So that's one additional option that you can use. By having all the individual photos separate, you can actually tweak your frame. So you can select one frame, hide that layer, hide the matching shadow. I can go on the side one, hide it, hide the shadow, and the last one here. I can also hide it and hide the shadow. And at this point, you can add a new raster layer. And with the selection tool, you can simply select another rectangle that will cover the space of all three photo spots. Flood fill with the gray. Deselect and you can add a 3D effect with a drop shadow and it will be the same settings as for the other elements in your frame. So now you're ready to add photos, text, whatever you want, and replace all those elements. If you want to go fast and add photos, I recommend you use the Speed Scrap scripts. To use the Speed Scrap script, Select it from the drop down menu and you find your speed scrap photo because I'm going to be adding photos. With the move tool, activate the photo spot you want to make the layer active. So it's going to be my white one and run the script. Now you can select the photo you want to use. I'm going to be using this one. It's going to kind of clip the photo to the space available, 
while allowing me to move it around or resize it. I want to have it at scale. And I can arrange it the way I want. When I'm done, I will run my merge group rename script that I bound and put in my layer palette. So now it has become only one. So I can do the same thing, activate my move tool just so I can find the actual layer I want. which is going to be this one, run the script, choose the photo, it's going to be a portrait one. I have a few black and white, so I might use them. Again, I can resize, adjust the placement as I want, merge, and I can repeat something like this for the other one. Again, I can check. This is the one that's going to be active. Run the script. Find the photo. And you can see now here that it's kind of a it's just a mask so that's why I can move my image below as I want and merge it will merge it into one only so you can continue adding photos and you can also use a speed scrap for paper for your frames or your mat or the spacing behind and now I have a completed frame with multiple photos all arranged nicely and with a custom mat that just used the speed scrap paper script to add. It is now time to create your own multi photo frame very quickly with this script and PaintShop Pro. Enjoy!